exercise 4 in fact we have seen that many supreme court judges who are doing very well have been promoted from the subordinate judiciary i would like to give some examples judge of the supreme court was at one time session judge Another judge started his career as a subordinate judge. Similarly, my friend started his career as a civil judge. There are many uh, such instances. I could even cite the example of another judge who delivered that famous judgment. He was also a district judge and he was a promotee judge in the high court. Therefore, my point is sufficient efforts should be made to give incentive to subordinate judiciary. The Honorable Law Minister has analyzed the disease and he has found that all these backlogs or arrears are primarily due to the vacancies in the high courts. He has also said that the judge strength is not as much as it should be and by way of an example he said about the karnataka high court where the sanctioned strength is 14 plus three additional judges this comes to 17 but their requirement is 33 similarly if you work out the requirement of judges in each high court taking into consideration the quota of disposal fixed by the chief justice conference namely 65 year we find that the judges strength in each high court has to be increased every year this is because the arrears go on mounting up this is a constant problem every year we cannot go on speaking about this it is necessary that efforts should be made to tackle this problem of arrears and this can only be done by appointing suitable number of judges para in this connection i would like to point out one thing i could not understand one thing which the honorable law minister said in the course of his answers the other day he said that proper judges were not appointed i could not really understand what he meant by the words proper judges for the appointment of judges there is a specific provision in the constitution certain minimum qualifications must be there firstly a recommendation is made by the state government in constitution with the chief justice of the concerned high court then the appointment is made all these is known to the honorable law minister the same procedure has been followed therefore when he made this observation that proper judges were not appointed i would expect a gentleman like my friend who now occupies the office of the law minister not to make such statements which may create confusion in the minds of the people and the house.